So wow, that couple was so, so friendly, guys. And she's from Castilla de Leon, she said. And it's two hours north of Madrid, wow. I have to learn more about Spain, obviously. It's like, once you've been to that place, you kind of understand where it is. But before that, you might've heard of it. And it's like, you have to experience it to me because even I heard about Cadiz and you know where it is, but you don't really understand it until you've been there, I think. I mean, for me personally. So I love that. And she speaks English. Wow, she spoke fantastic English. And I loved her accent. It was so, so easy to understand. She has very little accent, she said. So that is really easy for a foreigner. And walking this way a little bit more. Wow, look at this beach, guys. It is stunning. Stunning beach. And Miko's probably up there somewhere on the cliffs. <laughs> so we'll have to catch up with him later today, hopefully. fishermen in this area wow you see those poles are big ones look at those guys look how big they are okay I'm here with a man named Javier and he's fishing here on the beach and he's explaining to me how you catch the fish okay vale por qué explicar cuando estás pescando para que el pez y el pez muy grande okay para que no parta lo que es la línea yeah siempre se le deja lo que es abierto el freno del carrete okay vale pues si hay picada tira okay. y nunca parte so he has the uh, tension set very, very light. So if he's got a big fish, then it will start to pull. And when it starts to pull, then he knows he has a fish. Eh, y después, cuando, cuando está, no sé. No, ya cuando está el pescado cogido. Tú cogido, vas, okay, vale. Cuando va, está cogido. Tú vas jugando con el freno. Okay. Vale, cuando te tira el animal. Yeah. Eh, eh, le sueltas un poco, la aguanta, pero le suelta para que. Claro. Para, que no, para no partir la sí, línea. Sí, sí. Siempre jugando con el. Para no rompe, ¿o no? Ahí está. Okay, ¿y cuánto kilogramos de, de tensión esos? Bueno, este puede tener más o menos unos 15, 16 kilos. Ah, okay, de, so. De, de tensión. Okay, so 15 o. 15 kilos. Uh, 20. 15 o 20 kilos. Entre 15 y 20 kilos. Okay, so 15 or 20 kilos of uh, tension, the line. Okay, wow. Okay, muchas gracias. Uh -huh. He told me he's caught some really big fishes here. Wow. La, la semana pasada me dio una grande, ¿o no? Ah, okay, so two and a half kilos a, a fish. Wow, awesome. Muchas gracias. <laughs> so I don't think he has a fish, but he's just checking the line right now. And he's got a jersey on of um, Italian football. ¿Cuál equipo es otro vez? Napoles. Napoles. So he's a fan of Napoles. <laughs> but he's also a fan of um, Real Betis. Real Betis. Real right Betis. There. So he likes Real Betis. He's from. Uh, the area of Sevilla originally, but he's living here in Barbate. This one sits on the bottom, okay, and this one floats uh, like above, okay, right. It's flotan flotando, eso. Perfecto. We fish like this kind of in Michigan too, because of the heavy current. You have to have a heavy weight, it keeps it on the bottom, and then you have this line, a leader line, and then that floats up in, in, from the bottom, and that's what the fish bite on. And that's what he's using to fish with, a small little crab. Ah, estás en vivo. Está vivo, vivo. Uh-huh. Eh, si tú quieres mencionar tu canal, ¿cuál es el nombre de tu canal? Mi canal es Yerba Buena Surfcasting. Ok, so it's uh, Yerba Buena surf, Surfcasting. So it's Yerba Buena Surfcasting. He, he has a YouTube channel, but it's uh, kind of small now. He's starting it, so. And he shows you how to fish. Vale. Nunca muere el animal. Ok. Vale. Esto es hilo de goma. Ah, so he ties the fish with a line. That's interesting. Ah, so you don't kill the uh, the crab. Oh, I've never seen this before, wow. So you wrap him up like that, like a spider, like a como en araña. <laughs> igual, igual. Igual que de la araña. Ah. Nunca vi, uh, yo nunca vi eso. Okay. Okay, gracias. Interesting form there. Okay, so if you want to learn more about fishing, quiere aprender más de de pesca de pescar y poder ver el canal. Oh no! Suerte amigo. So if you get toward the end of this beach, guys, you can see. Look at these cliffs. 
And these are the cliffs of Barbate behind me. Wow, it's just amazing, guys. And you can see back in the distance now, look at this beach. Look at that, guys, wow. And we're so close to Morocco. I don't know if that's it in the distance or not, but we're really, really close from here. I walk all the way to the edge here and check out these cliffs. And I believe that's where Miko was walking up there. He's up on top of those cliffs. These are the cliffs of Barbate. So look at that. Formed by the sea, withering away, slowly, slowly over time, guys. Tearing away and making it beach eventually. Look at that, making it sand, fine sand. And you can see here where the water comes up here, we got algae growing. So here's where the water comes all the way up to here in the evening for sure, during the high tide. And there's something washed up here. I don't know if that's a part of a fish. Looks like some big bones. I don't know. I'm trying to see. I think it's the head. Wow, what is that the head of? Some kind of big fish. Look at that. Crazy looking there. <laughs> so I love about beaches. You never know what's going to wash up on them. And around Morocco, these are some of the beaches actually that some of the immigrants can just wash up on. Sometimes they just come up here because they cross here. They try to cross here on these uh, floatable rafts and they can just cross here. I've seen videos where they cross and they come and they just jump off and start running, trying to get into Spain. And also what, ro uh, what washes up here at times is bundles of drugs. And because this is a very close to Morocco, you have a lot of drug trafficking coming through here, unfortunately. But it's mostly quiet. But sometimes they would have speedboats racing across here from Morocco and bringing pounds and pounds of drugs into Spain. And behind me you have these gorgeous cliffs. Look at that guys, wow. Look at the colors on that. Reminds me of Arizona. Look at those gorgeous colors. Look at that, wow. And I think that is about the furthest I'm gonna go. I have to go through those rocks. Pools here. That are left over when the water recedes. Oh, it's nice and warm. I just walked through it. <laughs> what a paradise. And it's not too windy here either. And you can see across the street, guys, there's also a luxury villa for sale there. Okay, it needs a little bit of work, but it's for sale. You can see a sign there, say Bende. So, if anybody wants to buy it, there's the number. That definitely looks like a fixer upper here in Barbate. So, this is the place, guys, Paquete Torres Tampas. That man on the beach, he recommended to come here. He said you can eat very, very good here. Uh oh. I think it might be closed. Marte Cerrado. So, today it's closed for Descanso. Okay, what a shame. So it's closed today, guys. Uh-oh, have to find another one then. He said I could get the red tuna there, the Atun Rojo Tartar. Okay, so I'm walking along this boardwalk here and I found this place called Restaurante El Mirador. And they have tapas for around 250 or three euros. So let me get a couple of tapas here. This looks like a good place. They've got pulpo, the octopus, and they've got some atun. So I'm trying to get that. I've never seen this sign before, this atun. That's what the other place offered. It was atun. 
They call it Alma Drabada. And he said it's a plate. It was 15 euros at the other place, so I'm not sure what that is. And they were telling me to try the Tartare de Atun, which is uh, like ceviche style or raw, basically. And that would have been interesting for me to try it, so I wanted to go to that other place. So let's go in here and try this one. So they give you a little top of the start. And it's like some kind of carrots or something, so that's quite healthy. You brought me some bread too, but I didn't uh, want that. So I'm gonna get a little canita, caña, and I'm gonna get some tapas. And I'll be honest with you guys, I'm so tired right now after traveling. I need to take a day and relax, and Miko's like, go, go, go all the time. So I just can't keep up with him, the cat man. <laughs> These carrots guys are quite good, wow. And they just give you this, I guess, as an appetizer, wow. Yeah, I think it has some garlic and some onion and it. it's quite tasty. Mmm, nice flavor, and they're, they're cooked, they're a nice flavor. And you can see behind me, you can see the sea, look at that, wow. And a lot of people here, so you know it's a pretty good place. A lot of Spanish people and the prices are not expensive, so I like that. Oh, perfecto. And this is a tapa de pulpo alineado. Alinado, pulpo alinado, and it's uh, like a pipirana. So they would be, I believe in Malaga, they would call this a pipirana. So you have some uh, octopus, there it is, guys. Some tomato and some onion, and some olive oil, and probably some lemon. Wow, quite nice. Look at that, like all those colors, too. Wow, there's a lot of octopus in there, too. Wow. And this is only, I think it's 250. Wow, for 250 euros, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like it. Very fresh. The octopus is super fresh. You can taste it. Wow. Delicious. Wow, these first uh, dishes so far, guys, they're so, so healthy. Wow. And one of these people are so healthy here in the Mediterranean. They eat super healthy here. Fresh fish all the time. Fresh vegetables. And wow, they have it really great here and they look right off the sea. Wow, guys, and that's the plate of tuna. Look at that. Wow. Look at all that tuna you get in there. Wow, look at that. For three euros. Oh, wow. And that is the atun, atun and ceballado. So they cook it with uh, onion, I guess, and a sauce. Wow, because uh, cebolla is onion. And look at that. It's almost in like a tomato sauce, too, or something. That looks delicious. Can I wait to try this one, guys? And that uh, octopus salad, wow, I'm loving that one. Oh, look at this. Look how tender that tuna is. Wow. Let's get some of that now. Ooh, look at that sauce. There's a generous amount of sauce on this. This is quite different than that plate I had yesterday. Mmm. Mm. Wow, it just melts in your mouth. That sauce. I'm not sure what that sauce is. I'm going to ask this guy. I think there's some tomato in there. Oh, let's come in a minute. This is some of the best seafood guys I've had in all of Spain because it's super, super fresh and it doesn't matter you, where you go. If you go to Madrid, if you go to Barcelona, probably they're getting the fish from here anyway and it takes longer to get there. So you're getting it super, super fresh, guys. And I cannot tell you how tasty this is. Wow, and the price here, no wonder that lady I met yesterday, wow, no wonder she chose, she lived in Barcelona, she worked there, no wonder she chose to retire here in Barbate. Let's take a look at that tuna again, guys. Look at that, wow, look at that sauce. Look at that, wow. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Wow, you see a lot of people are coming here, a lot of workers are coming here from the area, so you know it's gotta be good. It's an awesome place. Okay, so I'm surprised in the sauce it has nothing to do with uh, onion. Wow, even the name sounds like that. So it was, uh, it's bino. Ah, uh, he said there's savoy in it too. Okay, so there is uh, bino, which is uh, wine. There's water, there's salt. I believe you said oregano and I guess some onion too. Wow. So there's actually wine in there, guys. It's a wine sauce. Unbelievable, there might be some olive oil in there too. Unbelievable, guys. It is really good. Wow, I did not know. So sometimes the name is can fool you, actually. Well, you think it's a lot of onion, and it's not. Mm. Honestly, I don't taste any onion at all. I guess I'm tasting the wine sauce more than anything. So here's the bill, guys. Seven euros for all that. Can you believe that? Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Wow. So here's what the place looks like inside, guys. Wow, very, very cool. Okay. Oh, muchas gracias. So I can look in the kitchen if I want. Wow. Very nice. 
Wow. And here's the kitchen, guys. I'm peeking around. <laughs> Hola, buenas. <laughs> so they're in there cooking, guys. You said I can even look in the kitchen. Wow. <laughs> But a cool guy and a lot of nautic theme here too as well wow so this is a very good place wow if you're ever in barbate i like it right by the sea too wow and the sea theme and they had some nice desserts here too as well look like wow maybe some flan let's say flan flan pudding pudding wow Wow. Okay, wow, some great uh, things here too as well. Okay, pues muchas gracias. <laughs> Super buena. Yeah, wow, very cool place. Wow, I'm gonna walk outside of here, guys. You're gonna see it. And look at this, you even got outside eating. I love to eat outside myself, especially in the summer. I love it. Get this cool breeze from the sea. It's so, so good. Loving that. Look at this, wow. And here's the place again from the outside, El Mirador. And I think they even have a fish here. I think that's part of the restaurant, maybe. A nice statue here outside of here. Wow, very nice. A lot of artistic things out here. And throughout Spain, so beautiful. And some people here just hanging out here, enjoying themselves. Look at that. Watching the sea. Looking at the beautiful sea. Or here's the ocean, excuse me, the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. Wow, I'm so used to Malaga in the sea. And the Costa del Sol. And this is the Costa Blanca, they call it. So I think I'm going to end the video here, guys. I had another great day in Barbate. And Miko's over there checking out the hippies, I guess. So, we'll see you guys in the next video. Travel Addict Guy. Take care of you, one.